Let's just take a moment to see a little bit in more detail how a CoLab Notebook works. I'm going to open this CoLab Notebook and I'm going to make a copy of it in my drive so that I can save the changes if I want. If you're used to normal Jupyter Notebooks, the CoLab Notebooks are a little bit different in the way that you run them. Instead of going and clicking on Run up at the top, there's a little Run button over here on the side. When I first start a CoLab Notebook, it takes a while before anything happens, and that is because it has to start up a run time. So it's a little bit different from a local Jupyter Notebook installation where you are running a notebook server on your own computer. This is a runtime that's happening out somewhere in the cloud. So if you have multiple notebooks open in different tabs, they're basically independent of each other because they each have their own runtime. And whether you have one running or another one running, they really don't have any influence on each other. When a particular cell is in the process of running, I can see the little circle spinning around over here. Once I, and it's spinning around because it's waiting for some input from me. So I'm going to go ahead and type three and hit enter. Now I see that the circle has stopped spinning. If I go down here and click on the next cell, I can see that this turned from up here, turned from a, a spinning circle to the number one and I see the output right here. If you want to get rid of output, you can go over to this little hamburger over here, more cell actions, and say that you want to clear the output. If I run this cell again and create the output, um, I can clear the output in all the cells at once by going up here and saying, select all cells or holding Control or Command Shift A. Let's try doing that. Command Shift A. I've highlighted all the cells. Now if I go to the little hamburger here and say clear selected outputs, it clears every all the output in the whole notebook. Now let's try to cause some problems here. So if I start the cell running, it's waiting for me to, to type in a number and press enter. However, if I don't do that and I click on the second cell and try to run it, you can see that it's just got this kind of weird spinning dotted line here. It's basically stuck because the runtime is still busy trying to finish up this cell up here. If I go ahead and enter a number here, then that cell completes. The runtime is then free to complete running the second cell.